Hi guys, this is Tridip here. I hope you are doing great. Today I will be talking about extensions which are helpful when you are starting a React project and you are using a Visual Studio Code. So let's go to extension sections in Visual Studio Code and search for React. Now the second extension which will be loaded in the marketplace is ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippet. Just go here, install it and then reload your window so once it's been lead reload uh, you will be seeing a prefixes available in these extensions which are really helpful when you are creating a new projects react projects on so the list will be available in the documentations over here so there are many prefixes available and if you go at the bottom you will see your react component prefixes so I'll quickly show you the prefixes which I really use when I'm creating react projects. So I'm just going to create a new file. Uh, the company name is list.js. Make sure your company name and your file name is same. Now the first thing which you do is importing a react. So the prefix is IMR. So sorry. So you're just loading it's the first time so it may take some time but once it's been loaded it will be quick every time so let it get loaded mr is import react yeah but we do need a full component template so the prefixes rcc now rcc is to create a react component with es7 module system so your component file is created and you see draggable list is the list your folder files name so make sure your file name is correct and that only you have to use for your component now you may be using uh, prop types in your project so you can write rcep so p stands for prop types here so you will be having your prop types declaration over here in my project i most probably use functional components because reusable components have been created in the projects mostly so the prefix is RAF so it's arrow function component and prop type so yeah the prop type is created now for prop types also there are some prefixes say I have a name in my props so I will say PTS it's a type of string if you have a object then you can use like object of number maybe just for example so it may be ptsh i am using shape over here and inside that say height i have which will be type of number so ptn on weight it may be having so it will be ptn okay so it depends on you how to use it uh, now this is arrow function and you can use use state over here so you can hit use state and yeah your state set method so if you write uh, say your name is uh, state you will be saving last name so you see last name and set last name is also created in initial you can send your initials use effect also will be there so you can see use effect effect your cleanup method and whatever input you want over here so really helpful right now suppose you are using a redux in your project and you require to have class so you will be doing like rc redux and p for prop types which i'm using mostly so you can see we have map state to props map dispatch to props and a connect method already written for you right so your declaration is also available now you will be having a state so prefix for that is est which will be like for state you can declare your state over here whatever you want then you will be having your life cycle methods for example component did mount so you will be right cdm and yeah your component did mount is there there is a method static method get derived state from prop so the shortcut for that is uh, gdsfp and yeah your get derived state from props is written uh, you may be having methods <coughs> which you can use for set state so i have handles um, click methods so i will write met and i will just like 
handle click and parameter suppose I have is like is name so we have name so this is on click we are just setting the name so I have name and I'm going to set a state so shortcut is SST and it will name there's one more thing is SSF now this is like perform a shallow mode of next state into your current state that time you can use this okay other than that if you want to destructure your props in a local way so it's like CP so it will create an ascent a local state using props destruction similarly for state you can do is like CS these are really quick you may be using uh, context in projects and ref so shortcut for them are our context and you may be having uh, f ref is for forward or ref statement used inside the component so this is like const ref you can use inside your project right so these are the some of few prefixes which are really used in the projects and really handy mm, you can go check it out and comment if you like this if you want some more uh, if you find some another library which may be helpful then let me know and comment in the below section till next video code whatever you want to code and don't forget to write program quickly bye